Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2020 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at my DVD t collection tower ones. I have one right there where my TV is, and I have one right there above my bed, which is right there. So I'm going to be doing two parts of my videos. Today I'm going to be uploading two parts of these videos around the same day as this one I'm going to be doing, for the, which is The Wait Is Over. So hope you stay tuned. I'll be uploading two parts of my DVD Collection Tower video once. I'm going to be doing part one and part two of my DVD Collection Tower videos that I have on the... There. So without any further ado, my DVD Collection Tower 1, today on the Physical Media Video Library Series. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you my DVD tower, starting right all the top from here, and all the way down to there, which I'll be turning the light on when we get to there in a moment, because this is my part one of my DVD collection tower one video on the physical, the physical media video library series, which is probably part of the 2020 edition of my DVD Blu-ray collection library videos so this is how it all began with this so let's start diving into some of the DVDs I have right here that were on this on this shelf here or this DVD tower the, let's start off with these two the first one I have is City of Sky this is like an Asian DVD set like Asian drama DVD, like just Taiwanese and all, dub and all. And the next one I have is the complete series of Spaced on DVD. I did a DVD review on it a while back when I did my first previous video DVD review video. And I also have School of Rock. This is in the part of the widescreen collection. I got this DVD back a while back at Blockbuster Video, back in 2006, I believe. And I have other movies. I have Too Fast, Too Furious, and I have Fast and the Furious movies. Those are the only two I have by far. And, of course, you all know what this is, which I did a, a, move, a rant on the horror horrible live-action adaptation based on the anime, the live-action Fist of the North Star. This is the li the live-action adaptation, which is a horrible, disappointing live-action adaptation based on the anime. I did a rant on it a while back, back in December. Yeah, this is a Fox Lorber Films release. And I also have... Other movies I got. The Iron Giant. This is the special edition. I need to get the signature edition, like, at one of these days at one point. And I also got other ones right here. Detroit Rock City. I got this on DVD from Amazon back in 2011. This is this was probably part of the New Line Platinum series collection I have. But the version of Detroit Rock City I have is probably in the DVD Slim Pack one. There is also another edition in like one of those like DVD Snapper Case ones. I guess. Oh yeah, Detroit Rock City did got a Blu-ray release. I'll probably upgrade to the Blu-ray at one point. And I have Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Classic Charlie Brown special, holiday special. The, which it came with the episode The Mayflower Voyagers on there. Great to watch it on Thanksgiving. And what else do I have? Which I'm going to be showing you like this. I have Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. This is in full screen. This is a two-disc edition. 
there is another edition which is in widescreen. There's only both versions on Lord of the Rings DVDs. Like both are the full screen editions and versions and the widescreen versions on every DVD editions of Lord of the Rings movies. I have the 19 and of course the 1990 the, the movie some may like, some may do not like, which I don't bother talking. Godzilla 1998. This is the one I got at Barnes and Noble. And I also have Predator 2. This is a great movie. And I have Sound of Music. I got this at Target. And of course, first of all, there's Dr. Doolittle with Rex Harrison, Samantha Egger, and Anthony Newley. This is the, the, the old one. Um, don't confuse me. Not the Eddie Murphy one, but this is his, the original from 1967. And of course, I have Shockwave. It's another like War of the Worlds type movies. And I have other movies like the Ghost of, of course, the Ghost of Mrs. Muir. And I have Napoleon Dynamite. And I have. Kill Bill Volume 2, and of course, I have Volume 1 of Kill Bill on DVD. Apparently, I might pick up Kill Bill on Blu-ray, which is a, another edition on Blu-ray, because both of the Kill Bill volumes I have from here are the Miramax release ones, but if there's also a Canadian copy, which is the Alliance Atlantic Pictures, only in Canada. Of course, I have Nature, Cloud, Wild, Wild Stallion of the Rockies, and of course I have an instant classic, Where the Red Fern Grows, and I have H.G. Wells in the World of the Worlds documentary DVD, I have Cast Away, and of course I got other movies, I have August Rush, I haven't seen it yet, but I did see this one, Starship Troopers. This is the best sci-fi movie, which is probably from the director who did Basic Instinct and Total Recall. Yeah, so most of them were done by other movies like, well, particularly Starship Troopers is the all is the all-time greatest sci-fi movies I've seen, and of course Red Fury, Persepolis. I've seen it. Oh yeah. Per speaking of Persepolis, this was based on the graphic novel by Marjan Satrapi. This is probably also got a Blu-ray. This movie also got a Blu-ray release. I've, from what I have heard, and of course I have Iron Man on DVD. I'm gonna set down to the floor some for a minute, and I'll turn the light on because this corner is kind of dark though. And of course, I have the Matrix on Blu-ray DVD. This is in its snapper case one. I might probably pick it up on 4K Ultra HD on there one of these days at one point. And of course, I have the Last Waltz. This is a Martin Scorsese movie with rock groups performing in that one. And of course, I have My Dog Skip, which is a childhood favorite movie of mine. And of course, I got some other ones. I have Son of Kong. I don't have King Kong, the original. Not the 1960s, not the 76 one, or the, or the 2005 Peter Jackson King Kong. But this is probably the RKO version from you know the old days. And of course, I got some Goosebumps DVDs. I have Goosebumps, The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. I have Goosebumps, Return of the Mummy on DVD. And of course, I have Goosebumps, Monster Blood on DVD. And of course, I have Goosebumps, Headless Ghost DVD. And I have Goosebumps, Chelidology DVD. And I have... The last one I have is Goosebumps Night of the Living Dummy. I have Goosebumps Night of the Living Dummy 3 and Werewolf of Fever Swamp, but they're in the in the storage, which is in the garage. 
but I don't feel like taking it out, but, because, you know, there's spiders everywhere. Anyway, so, of course, I have the 2008 Incredible Hulk movie. This one I have is the, like, the, the um, originated, uh, this movie is basically like the origins of the Incredible Hulk TV show, because the, at the end, he changed his name from Bruce Banner to David Banner, just like the TV show. And, of course, I got Men in Black on DVD. I might pick it up on Blu-ray at one point. And, of course, I have another childhood favorite movie of mine, Snoopy Come Home. And I have Monster House on DVD. And I got some other DVDs I added. Samurai Jack, the premiere movie. This came with a bonus episode, a 22-minute episode, bonus episode on there, and it includes all the extras on there. This is what you see on this DVD. And, of course, I have 7 pounds on DVD. And I have the Unbroken. And I got other ones. I have War Horse on DVD. And I have some more movies down there. I have The Sandlot, which is another childhood favorite I have of mine. If you're a night, if you're a 90s kid, and I have The Legend of Zorro that I showed you before on um, one of my previous videos of well, of course. And last one, Space Jam, you know, with you know, the characters of Looney Tunes and Michael Jordan, you know, the Chicago Bulls and all. Yeah, this DVD did got a Blu-ray. Oh, yeah. This movie did got a Blu-ray release. I'll probably pick it up at one point. So this covers up my DVD collection, Tower 1. So that's going to be it for my DVD collection, Tower 1, on my D 2020 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video on the physical media video library series. You guys, thanks for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts. Since I got two of these DVD tower rack ones, it looks like I got some more DVDs that I have when it comes to DVD collection videos, that's why. And now, stay tuned for part two of my DVD collection tower two, which is the second part of my video on my DVD 2020 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library videos, I guess. Hope subscribe for content at Anime Planet, link in the description down below, share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have a Twitter and Facebook account. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button on this video. Please leave it in the comments about, have you ever done a DVD collection videos by leaving in the comment section below on this video. Please subscribe to my channel, RuRoniK95. Feel free to join my channel, click on my notifications, bell button. Check out my videos that I'm uploading as well, and that's all I have to say. Because at 7 o'clock, I might do a movie review on Mars Attacks. Because that's how... It, I haven't done a movie review in quite a while. I'll probably do it, like, before dinner, I guess. This is RuRoniK95 saying thank you for watching my DVD collect video Action Tower 1 video. I'm glad you liked my video, and I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video, and hope you have a great day. This is RuRoniK95 signing off, and thank you for watching my video on the, phys deep on the physical media video library series by far. Hope to see you soon. Hope to see you again, and... Stay tuned for part two of my DVD collection tower video.